In this lecture, let's learn how to set the value of an attribute of a JSX element dynamically. What we want is, in this product list, we are displaying this minus and plus button. So when we click on this plus button, it will increment the product count. And when we click on this minus button, it will decrement the product count. Okay. Now what we want is, when the product count is zero for a particular product, this minus button should be disabled. The user should not be able to decrement any further when the product count is zero. Let's see how we can do that. For that, let's first go to this button component. So using this button component, we are displaying this button element. So we are using this button element to display this minus and this plus button. So on this button element, we want to use an attribute which is disabled and to this disabled we want to assign some value okay so if we assign true here in that case it will disable this button and if we assign false in that case it will not disable that button so for example if i go ahead and if i assign true here you will notice that in the web page both these buttons are disabled but here we only want to disable this minus button and that too when the product count is zero so let's go back to VS code and here we are calling this button component from this product details component. Right here we are calling this button element. So here we only want to disable this minus button and that too when the product count is zero. For that what I'm going to do is on this button component let's add a new attribute. Let's call it disable. Okay so this is our custom attribute. And to this, I'm going to assign an expression and this expression should return either true or false. So here I will say, if this product count, if it is equal to zero, in that case, this expression will return true when the product count is zero. And that will be assigned to this disable attribute. And this attribute will be created as a property on this props object of this button component so here instead of assigning a value like this here we are going to use curly braces and inside these curly braces we are going to assign props dot disable so this disable here is the attribute which we have just created on this button component okay so when the product count is zero this expression is going to return true then the value of disable is going to be true so that true will be assigned to this disabled attribute. But if this product count is not equal to zero, in that case, false will be assigned to this disable and that false will be assigned to this disabled attribute. So here we are assigning a value dynamically to this attribute. With this, if we save the changes, if we go to the web page, initially the product count for all the products is zero. So you can see that this minus button is disabled but when i click on this plus button here you will notice that now this minus button has been enabled if i again click on this minus button product count has become zero and the button is again disabled same is true for other buttons okay so here when the product count is again zero the button has been disabled so this is how we can add a value dynamically to an attribute to assign a value dynamically to an attribute to that attribute, we first assign a set of curly braces and inside that curly braces, we can write our condition and based on that condition, we can return some value and that value will be assigned to this attribute. Now here is a task for you. In this web page, what we also want is for each of these products, we want to specify a stock. So every product will have a limited stock. So Let's say for this flesh milk, the number of products available in this stock is 10. So user can go ahead and add these products 10 times. But as soon as the maximum number of products in the stock reaches, this plus button should also be disabled because in this stock, we only have 10 fresh milks. So users should not be able to add 11 fresh milks in the cart. Okay, so when the product count for a particular product reaches the maximum number of products in the stock 
this plus button should be disabled. For that, what you can do is here in the app.js, we have this list of products. So for each product, you can add a new property. Maybe you can call it stock and you can set the maximum number of products in that stock for each of these products. And here, when this product count reaches that maximum number of stock, at that time, you can disable this button. So here, this is an assignment for you.